Good health tonight. Although it is flu season, there is another illness that is making plenty of people sick, and that is norovirus. And the more you know about it, the better you can avoid it. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with four things you probably don't know about the norovirus, Doc. That's right, Devin and Kimberly. You know, norovirus infections cause vomiting and diarrhea. Extremely unpleasant, and in people on the ends of the age spectrum, the young children and seniors, it can lead to severe dehydration. The problem? It is extraordinarily contagious. So here are some things to help you stay healthy. Most infections are spread when we touch a contaminated surface with our hands and then touch our mouth or face. That's why we tell people to wash their hands or use hand sanitizer on a regular basis. But did you know that alcohol-based hand sanitizers aren't effective against norovirus? The CDC says alcohol-based hand sanitizers can be used in addition to hand washing, but aren't a substitute when it comes to norovirus. Now, the virus is extremely contagious. When people are infected, they begin to excrete billions of virus particles that can spread to other people. And you only have to swallow 18 particles to cause an infection. But did you know the virus can also infect you if you breathe the particles in? When some people forcefully vomit, some of the particles also get into the air. That's why you should also avoid breathing in that aerosol. Now, norovirus is difficult to kill. Once it gets on a surface, it can survive for days. But did you know that goes for laundry and linens, too? Hot water and bleach are effective to disinfect surfaces contaminated by norovirus. Now, norovirus is a virus, and we can develop immunity to viruses once we're infected. But did you know there are not only many different types of norovirus, they also have the ability to mutate just like influenza, making it hard for your immune system to fight back. Now, one other thing to keep in mind, people remain contagious for a day or two after they recover. So if you're infected, do everyone a favor and just resist the urge to resume normal contact for a bit and continue to wash your own hands after you use the bathroom so you don't spread that virus. I always wonder that no matter what kind of illness you've got, how long are you toxic after you mm -hmm. think you're well? So yes, a days. well, it's about it's one to two days yeah. in the case of norovirus. Okay. So you got to wash your hands and stay I away from other bleach. people. Bleach, yes. Bleach. All right, thanks, <laughs> All right. Doc.